Do you ever wish that you could just press pause on those busy, hectic lives we lead? We pressed pause so that we could spend an amazing few days unwinding and relaxing at One Cat Farm in Wales. One Cat Farm is nestled in a valley five minutes from Aberiron town in Wales. The four handmade eco cabins set in a beautiful secluded meadow really immerse you in nature. Soak up the stars, light a campfire, indulge in a wood fired bath, read a book and slow down time. We filmed this video over a few days so we could really unwind. Here are the highlights of our stay. We are starting our day at One Cat Farm with a beautiful cooked breakfast outside on this lovely sunny morning. It's the way every day should be started at One Cat Farm, I think. Food outdoors. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? So, uh, get this on a plate and in our bellies. We have hopped in the car and driven three minutes down the road to Clannacaron National Trust. There is a beautiful woodland walk along the river here that you can do and there's also a National Trust house and garden to explore. At the entrance there's a cafe called Conti's which looks really nice so I'm hoping that at the end of the walk we can <laughs> grab a nice hot cup of tea and maybe even a slice of cake. Clannacairon is an elegant Georgian villa set in a wooded valley. Check the National Trust website for opening times and prices. The cafe serves hot and cold drinks and food and has a large outdoor seating area to enjoy your sweet treats. Welcome to our super cosy cabin, The Lookout, set 
right at the back of the field with a lovely view over the meadow, especially during golden hour and sunset. Now this cabin is divided into two parts. The inside super cozy part and this amazing outdoor eating area. Let's give you a look at this. Now, this cabin sleeps, I think, two adults and three children, so up to five bodies. There's a great deal of space here for sitting and entertaining and playing games and eating. Really lovely big table here. Over here, you've got all that you could need for a few days away. You've got a gas burner with a couple of rings, this lovely outdoor cookware. There's a toaster, a fridge, a very small fridge, um, so prioritise the essentials like cake and chocolate and beer and things like that. Leave the salad out. Um, over here, you've got a sink and washing up area and this is a really cute added um, uh, feature there's no running water down here so this 10 litre um, tub you take up fill up at the pig shed and that's your running water down here now everything about this site is designed to have a minimal impact on the environment and that goes for all of the things that they supply um, washing up liquid the shower products and hand soap are all um, eco-friendly products and they're very hot on recycling so you've got some good facilities to separate all the recycling um, so this is an outdoor area it's super cozy in the evening time with the festoon lights on let's give you a look at the inside of the cabin come on into the indoor cabin one of my favorite parts of this cabin is the enormous picture window over the bed it is just terrific and in fact we have enjoyed a couple of mornings sitting in this bed and drinking a cup of tea and looking out over the meadow it has been so peaceful and relaxing anyway i digress the bed is so comfortable and underneath it are these two storage lockers so you can put all of your bags and belongings under there there's a lovely seating area and a uh, a pull-out bed underneath so these turn into the three beds that you can use to make it a capacity for five people but there are lots of lovely thoughtful touches in here from hooks on the walls to make sure that there's lots of space to put your bits and pieces games supplied and a fantastic selection of books and the cabin has everything you could possibly need One of our favourite features is this open fire pit outside the cabin. There's a tripod and all of the cooking equipment that you can need for a super yummy al fresco campfire dinner. And I've got to tell you, when the sun is going down, the flames are roaring and the wood smoke is in your hair, it's just nothing like it. For each day that you're here, you get a tub truck full of firewood, some kindling and a fire lighter, and this is enough to see you through a very long evening of campfire fun. Up at the pig shed, you'll find a wonderful covered outdoor space for sociable fun, including fire pits and hammocks. Inside you'll find a small shop selling basic supplies and little luxuries. I am going to give you a quick tour of the shower and toilet area. Each cabin has its own dedicated cubicle. This is ours for the lookout. It is super clean, has everything that you need um, and would expect and also some shower products are provided which are really nice it is open to the elements somewhat but the shower is so warm it is absolutely lovely piping hot water and really really good water pressure lovely little bathroom <laughs> At the foot of the meadow are two natural spring-fed ponds, ideal for a spot of wild swimming, rowing the boat, or just sitting on the jetty, keeping your eyes peeled for otters or kingfishers.
ponds are also a haven for an abundance of insect life. We spotted this stunning southern hawker dragonfly darting silently through the air. What are we up to? Okay, we are going pond dipping. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been pond dipping, except perhaps like first school where you kind of get a list of creatures and you have to go and find them in a pond. And Here's a list. I have a list of creatures. And we're gonna go see if we can find some in a pond. I'm very excited about this. I, I know this is an activity for children, but. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> get? Oh, nothing. No, no. nothing. We're taking this to sea. <laughs> this expedition for creatures. <laughs> Okay, Sarah's going to get in the boat. <laughs> Do it, sit down. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I feel like the edges. The edges would be a good, like place a good place for. Oh, um, I see something in the water. What? I don't know. Where? No. Okay, Sarah's going to see if she has any better luck than I do. I'm going to go in with my net. Is that like a. Um, Oh, can you see it? Yeah. It was like that, uh -huh. wasn't it? Pond skater. Let's see if I can better Sarah's pond skater. Oh, I can feel the bottom. Can you see it? Little. Oh, yeah. I see it. Very small. I think that little fella might be one of these. A beetle larva. Is that what that is? Do the short tail end, end in hooks? Yeah. Very difficult to say. Put your back, little fella. Ready? Well, I consider that a very successful pond skimming excursion. We caught <laughs> two things. A, a, a beetle larva and a skater thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you became a nature expert <laughs> while on the while on the expedition. Yes, I well did. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, we will be in here later for a hot smoking bath. Very exciting. OK, let's go and find Mac, who has gone to get the badminton pitch set up for us. Oh, you're taking your jacket off. You must mean business. Let's see if this is yet another game that Sarah wins at. <laughs> Ready? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. That was very good. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Yes, take it to Mac. Call him. Good boy, take it to Mac. <sighs> Thank you. Well done. Good boy. Why? Wow, yeah, come on. <laughs> 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 10 minutes of very bad badminton and I'm finished. Hammock time. <laughs> Hammock time. <laughs> So tonight's culinary cookout creation <laughs> on the campfire is a bit of a paella. Um, it's not going to be a traditional paella because there's a couple of ingredients I don't have. Um, I started it off on the gas ring in there just to heat the heavy pan up because it is a nice heavy thick camping cooking pan. So I've just got the vegetables in here. In a minute we'll get the rice in and then top it off with some prawns when we're ready. rice going in. I've realised that we have not got stock to make so um, I'm thinking maybe water. What about beer? I think that sounds amazing. Sounds alright? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. okay, so I've put some water in, in the absence of stock, and I'm going to pop a little bit of beer in. Not a lot because it's nice drinking. This is uh, Welsh beer from an independent brewery called Untapped um, in Raglan in Monmouthshire um, and this is called Sundown, a traditional golden ale and it's very nice as the sun is going down.
is a good big portion of my <laughs> It's enormous. It's enough for six people. I am looking forward to tucking into this. It looks amazing and nothing beats dinner cooked over a campfire. One cat farm offer wood fired baths and the last time we were here we did not indulge and we regretted it ever since but this time around we have booked ourselves some wood fired baths as a real treat and I cannot wait it will be the perfect way to end our stay here. The wood-fired baths do cost a little extra, but they are yours to use for the whole evening. Just add a bottle of wine and a gorgeous sunset. With a view out over the valley and up into the stars, it is the perfect way to unwind. As our stay drew to a close, we enjoyed one last campfire waiting for the stars to come out. We hope you enjoy pressing pause to join us at One Cat Farm. Thanks for watching.